Glad you all brought us some of from here for a task to see in Texas. And today I want to talk to you about finding the line of best fit for graphing data. And hopefully you have a TI-84. So let's get started. In this lesson, you will enter and graph data using your TI-84. You will find the slope, the y-intercept, and the line of best fit for that data. You're going to need your TI-84 calculator. You must know algebra basics, basic graphing, and you should know your TI-84 data. The size of a certain round object decreases over time. The data collected is shown to the right. Time is our independent, and therefore will be our x value. And the domain is going to run from about 0 to 180. Our dependent is uh, size, which is in millimeters, and we'll make that our y. And the range is 16.9 to 20.1. So as we notice our domain and range there, We'll use those values to set up our graph. Now, preparing your calculator. Clear your data list by pushing second plus and then going down to four. It says clear all list, then push enter, and you're done. All your list should be cleared. So let's fix our graphing window. Click window and then uh, change each of these settings to the ones I have here, which will match what we're doing. Set your graph plot. So push second y equals. And uh, you want to make sure that uh, 1 is on. And if it's not, you need to press Enter. And make sure that on and L1 and L2 are selected. All right, there it's on. And that's the type of graph I want. And that's the marking I want to use. And second mode. And I'm back. So now let's create our graph with that data. List. Hit stat. And go to one, which is edit. Let's put our numbers in for our list. Uh, you need to know that L so uh, one is X. Independent and L sub 2 is our dependent. Here's your data. Now remember, time is going to be the independent, so that's L sub 1, and size is L sub 2. Type in the number and press enter. So put in 0, press enter, put in 30, press enter, etc. Then move over to L sub 2 and put uh, all those numbers in. Once you have those in, you should have a data list that looks something like this. And each of those represent coordinate, point or coordinate points. Go ahead and check your graph. If you've done everything right, you should have a graph that looks similar to this. If your graph is not like this, you need to check your settings. Now, let's find our slope and our y-intercept. Second mode, clear. Make sure that we have everything off the screen and ready. Hit stat, move over to calc, and there you go. Use the arrow keys. Go down to number four, and you'll get this new menu. Go down to, uh, using your arrow key, go down to store equation. Then hit vars, go over to wise vars, go down to function, because that's what we're doing. And then in function, go to 1, which is y sub 1, because that's what we're going to use. And notice it'll put y sub 1 in there for you. Now go to calculate, push enter, and it should do your calculations. And you'll get your slope, and you'll get your y-intercept. Pretty cool. All right, for the line of best fit, push graph. And it should be in there. Now, it should be in there already because... We prepared the calculator to put the equation in it. Recap. Uh, we collected data, determined the x and y values, cleared the list, set the window, set the graph plots, entered the data, 
checked the graph, find found the line of best fit. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't be uh, afraid to go to www.mrkazi'sworld.com or just go to mrkazi.com. Lots of videos and things. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if this helped you. Uh, believe it or not, studies have shown that it increases. Happy eyes, y'all.